Happy are those who dream dreams and are ready to pay the price to make them come true. Tupac Shakur. Hey everyone, welcome to Quotes to Live By. I'm John Timmerman. This quote from Tupac comes from one of my team members, Michelle. It's one of her favorite ones. Um, I'm a big fan of Tupac, number one. He represents like both sides of the coin. Super thoughtful, insightful. It's great, you know, he's got a Nostradamus type thing. You know, obviously rest in peace, he's no longer with us. But even from the grave, he still is, his quotes share insight that actually occurred and happened and, and have relevancy in today's culture. You know, and this one definitely is there. So, you know, those that dream and are willing to take the gut punches to get to where they want are the winners in life. They're the ones that will realize their dreams. You know, in, in a previous podcast, I talked about Steve Jobs and a quote he uh, had, which, you know, was summed up into, you know, if you can find the courage to go with your gut, you will find happiness. Um, regardless of people judging you. And this is similar. You know, you, you're going to find happiness if you have a dream and you're willing to take the punches that life will give you in order to realize that dream. Starting a business, right? Uh, a lot in this podcast is about starting a business, entrepreneurship. You know, that's, that's a really good way for a lot of people to, to be creative and to build their own thing or finding your dream job. If you're willing to sweep the floors, clean the toilets, get the mail, you know, answer phones, answer emails, do the like dirty work to get to where you want, you will find much more success. I will give you a perfect example of where this, this quote by Tupac is relevant. So I got into marketing um, because I built my own, my, an online personal training company. And I had to learn SEO and I had to learn um, the early stages of, of social media marketing. I had to learn all that myself, right? And then um, I got a few marketing jobs after that business ended up failing and though they were they were not great marketing jobs you know i was basically like in charge of marketing for a small business so i didn't have anybody above me that was teaching me how things you know should have been so i went through this and then i ended up creating good what would become good monster through various you know sort of connections and people needing help with video production and websites right so i did a bunch of little jobs I had no, very little money for such a long time. I lived with my parents for a long time, you know, into my late twenties. Um, I went into debt to try to, you know, realize this dream. You know, thankfully I was in a good place, happy, great support for my family. You know, n my family, none of us made a ton of money, but enough to keep living and, and doing well. But I, you know, I went through a lot of like down times and, and some relative to me, you know, tough places. And, uh, you know, to this day, I'm still paying off some of that debt, you know, most of it's student loans, but I had to do that. If I would took a different direction, so that those are some of the gut punches and it took me forever. Here's a, here's an alternative reality that, that I could have taken. So I could have, instead of starting my own marketing, starting my own business, if I had realized that I wanted to be in the agency world earlier, or I wanted to be in marketing earlier, you know what I would, what I would have done? I would have gotten some. I would have gotten a job at Home Depot, decent salary or decently decent hourly wage and benefits and things like that. I would have gotten a job to be able to eat and survive and have a roof over my head. I would have spent every other hour trying to find an internship for one of the biggest marketers or successful business owners who was a good, good marketer that I could have found. At the time, would have probably been Gary Vaynerchuk. I would have found a way to. Uh, to work with him for free, to learn as much as I possibly could, learn how it works. How does marketing work? How does the business world work? How does entrepreneurship work? How does all of this work? What are the things that will break? What are the bad things that will happen? Learn, learn, learn. I would have done that for free for several years. As soon as that dried up or I found another opportunity, I would have gone and done the, other th the same thing for another company. I would have eaten uh, and done whatever they wanted in order to be in their aura to learn and absorb as much as I could. That way, when I came over and started Good Monster, I would be armed with a lot more knowledge than I was when I started Good Monster. So both of those scenarios, I would have, I would have had to pay the price, as Tupac says, in order to realize my dreams. In the scenario that happened, the price I had to pay was having no money for the better portion of a de decade. And uh, by no money, I just mean barely, but sometimes not even able to afford my bills, uh, moving back in with my parents. In the second scenario, I would have had to do 
whatever positive, shitty work, clean the toilets, whatever it took to be able to learn from these people. The point is both scenarios, I would have had to pay the price in order to realize my dreams. So if you can realize that you will need to pay the price in order to realize your dreams, you will have to put in the time, you have to be patient, don't expect things to happen overnight, you will be happy when you realize your dreams because if you keep going, it will happen. Like and subscribe if you found this podcast helpful.